Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 and we are here in what may be the final day of exploring Lost River. So we have spent most of the time looking in this little town and it has been very very creepy. I don't know about you guys but the post-apocalyptic feel, the abandoned molecular research laboratory, the way that there's all sorts of little easter eggs everywhere. It was so much fun to be able to explore and it was also really really creepy. I mean look at it and I really love the mix though I have to say if you are looking for like a small town in America for those of you guys who aren't from the United States that would be abandoned this would be kind of what it would look like because you would in most of the small towns that end up abandoned like this usually it's not some disaster they just can't support themselves economically anymore and so there's a lot of tiny towns with these old old houses built like decades and decades and decades ago that are about this big and that is not what most United States houses look like anymore not unless you're living in like in a really tight little suburb suburb in a city somewhere but I think we might see some of the houses that you would normally see in like American suburbs up here at Grants Glen so Eclipse let's go explore what's going on in Grants Glen because oh well that leaf startled me because I'm like kind of on edge because you guys said that there's lots of hidden messages hiding up here oh I see one already I see one already oh my gosh Eclipse what do you think it is oh my goodness okay so this is Grants Glen oh there's a bunny okay well you know I'm not gonna turn down the free lunch Sorry, bunny. That was not the best of choices for like where to go. So we'll come back and we'll we'll nibble on this bunny uh, now that we've got some food. <laughs> yeah, we'll nibble on the bunny as we continue to explore what's hiding in here. Oh my gosh, there's that creepy sign. Oh, looks like they have some mail uh, waiting for them. So they never collected their mail. First the river, now us. Okay, that's not creepy at all. I mean, there's some more graffiti. So I'm assuming the river got like dried up, like something happened to the river. The river became lost. Was the whole place named after the fact that the river just disappeared? Did they just build that giant like Hank's ditch just for fun? That's so interesting. Because if you think about it, like the beavers made the dam up there. I wonder if, oh, I wonder if it's coming from the two-step. I wonder if their water was coming down from the two, but then why would they build, why would they build the Allison Acres there? Okay, the mysteries are still piling up here. So, oh, those leaves, they keep startling me. I'm, I got so used to the paper flying around in town. Now that we're looking at leaves. All right, is there anything else that we can look at over here? Let's see, you got your little power box. We've got the back. Oh, it's so creepy the way everything's just abandoned. But I guess that's good for Eclipse. And a lot of you guys, your theories on what could have happened. Nuclear destruction. Zombie apocalypse. It was so interesting to read everybody's theories. Let's see, where does that go? Okay, so that'll take us to the hilltop. Let's continue exploring around here a little bit. See what... Oh, there's another doghouse. There's another wee little doghouse. Can we go inside this one? Yep. So if we wanted, we could rest inside. Oh, is that another bunny? Jeez, bunnies. There's like a lot of them around here, huh? Well, Eclipse, now we have a little stockpile of food. So if we need more food, we can we can go get some. Man, I wish you could peer inside the windows, but I think that would freak me out like to the max. It's just so empty. Everybody has mail. I wonder if someone just went around like flipping up the little mail flags just to be silly. Oh, here's another one. Oh, there's a coyote. Mr. Coyote, do you have like no sense of self-preservation? He just like literally almost walked into us. Well, you go your way. Just don't eat my don't eat my bunnies. All right, no trespassing. Trespassers will be left here to suffer the consequences. What does that mean? Does that mean you're gonna get sick? Does that mean we're not sick? And it was so interesting to see how many of you guys talked about Chernobyl in school. And the reason I don't think this would be Chernobyl is because it is in the United States and we see English everywhere. And Chernobyl was in Russia. So it's, oh wow, oh there's another one. I fought the power and the power won. Huh, I wonder if that means like something dramatic but it sounds more like somebody being like i tried to prevent them from putting in that molecular research lab and did they listen to me no boy them them big money government things what there's another bunny man there's so many bunnies here oh my gosh bunny 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 food 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 where'd it go oh there it goes no that's a coyote coyote are you eating my bunny back off coyote where's my bunny i want the i want the meat from the bunny all right there's the coyote Let's see, there's my two little two little bunny spots. No, I think this coyote ate my bunny. Cause he was right here and then he vanished. Ugh, 
That's what I get for leaving that coyote alone. If he if he comes back, I mean, because that's all Eclipse is going to care about over here, right? He's not going to be so focused about, oh, there's a car. Oh my gosh, but oh my gosh, there's another sign. Okay, okay, let's let's walk up and see what that says. Eclipse wouldn't care. He'd be after the rabbit. So I'm actually, we'll be back someday. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think you ever came back, my friend. I think you're better off. You know, sometimes you just got to cut your losses. And they left a whole truck here. Man, it would really... <laughs> you know you're an adult when the first thought you have is... It would really suck if you had to abandon your car but still pay property tax. What the heck even is that? Why am I thinking those things? <laughs> because I guess that's that's that goes to show you guys when you grow up, you know you've reached adulthood. When you're looking at basically like some sort of abandoned town, some mystery has happened here, and you think about property taxes and how much it would suck to still have to pay them on like a totally abandoned area. Wow. You're boring today, Siri. <laughs> Come on, Eclipse. Let's go do something exciting. All right. So this is another abandoned... Ah, the cars creep me out the most though, because it's like, if the car is here, is the person still here? Because it just kind of like implies that nobody left when there's a building still here. Oh, is there like, oh my gosh, there's a whole grizzly bear and he's trying to get, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is going to be awesome. Hang on. Mr. Grizzly Bear can't figure out the fence. So it can be like, <laughs> hey, Mr. Grizzly. Hey, hey, guess what I'm doing? Hey. Hey, I'm eating some food. It's delicious. Look at this elk carcass. It's fantastic, Mr. Grizzly Bear. Gee, it's too bad you're on that side of the fence and we're on this side. Yep, sitting here with the whole thing all to ourselves. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. I, do, I, I love it. I love it. All right, come on, Eclipse. We don't need to harass the Grizzly Bear, but that is kind of hilarious that he can't figure out the fence. That's okay. Well, we'll leave him be too because I don't want to pick a fight with them. And let's see. Any more... Any more signs on these houses? Everybody has mail. Who knows? Who knows? Can you imagine if you didn't get the memo that this place was supposed to be evacuated and you just show up in your mail truck? And you're like, well, gee, I wonder what's going- Oh my gosh. All right, let's run up here. Uncle Henry, we couldn't wait any longer. Meet us at JJ's cabin. Hurry. <gasps> Ooh, is there a cabin hiding somewhere? Can we find JJ's cabin? Oh, I kind of want to look around. I wonder if, like, Gigi's cabin might be up at the bluffs? Could there be a cabin? I want to hunt for a cabin now. There's just so many, like, little subtle Easter egg things. Notes that might not lead anywhere, but could lead somewhere. All right, so let's see. The houses get a little bit further apart here. Bigger lots. No messages on this house. Let's see. Anything over here? Nope, just a leaf startling me again. Okay. Okay, nothing, nothing too suspicious. Whoop. Hmm? Nothing too suspicious. Oof, but I did, well, there's some, there's some, ooh, there's some elk up in the hills. Huh, we might head towards that in just a second, because I kind of want to see if we can find Gigi's cabin, wherever that might lead. So where does the road keep going? Does it end up here? Yes, it does. So it looks like they just abandoned any construction projects they were working on over here. I wonder if the newer, like, suburbs that they were building, like Allison Acres and Grants Glen, I wonder if these suburbs, as they were building them, were for the scientists or the other researchers who might have been moving in for the research lab. Huh. That's a good theory, if you ask me. All right, so let's go up and let's see. I kind of want to interact with the wolves up here. So we'll do that. And we might check out the top of the hillside and we'll see if we can find anything else. I don't think we've missed anything. We've kind of traversed the countryside quite a bit. So just a nice little Easter egg map of things to see. And I think what we might do, oh man, look at that. That is a nice view right there. I think what we might do with Eclipse next is to take him back to his beautiful mate Twilight. And we'll say that this was his adventure when he was younger. And so we'll resume having puppies. And thank you guys so much for your amazing support. Because everybody was like, yeah, daily wolf quest. Yeah, daily wolf quest. So as long as you guys are still supporting and excited, then I will keep it up. Because I really love just discovering... Oh, do we have any wolves? No, but there's some food over there. I really love 
discovering like what's going to happen with the clips, which puppies are going to survive, how can we continue the legacy, the generations going by with our wolves. Okay, we're in the wolf's area. Oh, we just barely are. We need to get up in these foothills. Interesting. How on earth? They're mountain goat wolves. That's what they are. Okay, we're going to have to figure out, is this a little path to get up there? Oh, I think it is. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, now we're up here. There's some food down there. So let's go follow the food. And then we'll return to the top and turn around. And is the food like all the way in town though? Jeez, our noses are like really good. Huh. All right, let's come up here. Where is the food? Oh, it's right down here. Okay, so that's not too bad. All right, we're almost back in town. There's some vultures trying to get to it. Aha, there it is. So let's get eat a little bit of a snack and then we'll go greet the wolves of the bluffs. But yeah, as long as you guys are still excited to dive in, to live the wild life with the Yellowstone wolves and to try to find out what's going to happen to each generation, then we will stick with them. So this is pretty exciting. I didn't plan on doing daily wolf quest episodes because often, to be honest, it's kind of the same thing over and over again. But as long as you guys are happy, then we will continue to follow their story because it is a fantastic story. And I think it's fantastic to stop every now and then and just look at how beautiful everything is and look at the wolves and to think about how many different things we can do in our daily lives to support the real wolves. That's what this is all about, showing us how hard their lives are already without having to mess with humans and without having human interference and taking away of ecosystems and we're in the wolf area, okay? But yeah, it's, and we're on the wrong side. The wind is actually the other direction. So it might be difficult to catch a scent. Hmm. Don't know if we'll catch a scent of the bluff wolves. But yeah, just keep that in mind. For as much as you love Wolf Quest, remember every time you do things as simple as recycle or every time you support your local songbirds. Aha, here's a territory marker. Where's it going? I think it's getting fainter this way. But if you put seeds out for your local songbirds, if you pr try to plant trees, if you take reusable containers to school for lunch, believe it or not, guys, those are essential ways that you can be helping these wolves. It all adds up. It all adds up into changing the whole world. And that's what we are all about. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Where's the wolf? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Where's... Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. A dispersal female. Hey. She reminds me, it's like Luna. It's like meeting Luna again. All right, well, let's say hello to the bluff wolf here. All right, let's see. Uh, hello there. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so it seems like, um, I like you. You know, this is gonna sound silly. But instead of choosing this wolf as our mate and like moving forward with her, I'm going to say this is Luna. This is actually Luna coming back and she is trying to collect her son. She's like, Eclipse, where did you go? You need to come back and finish learning how to run your own pack. So this is really fitting because it's like Eclipse's mom back when he was uh, just a little, little pup came back and tried to find him so that he would return to the pack and they can return to Yellowstone. Don't go away. Uh, let's be friends. Sorry. Sorry. Do I need three hearts? Is that what it is? Okay. Um, let's be friends. You're okay. What? Let's hang out. You're okay. Um, don't go away. I think we waited too long. Okay. So yeah, this is... <laughs> There we go. We're going to say that this is definitely Luna because it looks just like Luna returning and there we go. Coming to collect her son. So I hope this is, is that, is that what we're supposed to do? I think we need three hearts. Is that enough? Um, let's play. Is that good? Are we being too playful? Yeah, there we go. There we go. So Luna has come and we are going to go off and we are going to, and we're not actually starting a pack with her. We're just going to say that we're going to go back to the pack that we belong to. So this was Eclipse's adventures when he was a young, a young little puppy. And now his mom's back. Well, like a young, young wolf. Okay, let's do this. Yep. 
so we adventured. We had a good time. We found the mystery of the Lost River, and we didn't quite get the answers for what could have gone on there, but we did connect with family, so it's kind of interesting to see the way it's like, Luna, yay! It's kind of the way. She's not our mate, she's our mom. <laughs> it's just really suiting, because it's like, she showed up, and now we're going to go back to Yellowstone. So I will see you guys next time, and what we will be doing is we will actually be going back and we will go explore and find a new den with Twilight. And I'm kind of tempted to take the den closest to the farm this time, so that we can kind of contrast what it was like to look over an abandoned human settlement, and then to go to the farm where there is actually active humans and dogs and cows and the dangers of the farmer shooting us potentially. So that's going to be quite intense. So I think we will go ahead and we will try out what life is like over near the farm next time and we will have twilight our amazing mate with us and hopefully we will successfully raise the second litter of puppies and whichever puppies survive will then enter the pool of potential dogs or potential wolves excuse me that we will be following to the third generation after the third litter so daily wolf quest episodes as long as you guys are still ready to learn ready to try to do just a little bit here's the deal you guys just do something pick up some litter like try to make a friendly choice turn off a thing that you're not using that uses electricity anything because believe it or not that all adds up to help the wolves so we will explore their adventure daily together and I hope you can do just one little thing daily to try to help out their wild lives and the wild lives of all the animals that build up the amazing ecosystems we have come to love and enjoy. So that little Siri environmental PSA is over and I will see you guys tomorrow for the birth of the second litter. Until then guys, bye bye